One of my favorite songs is Canzone delle Donne. It was sung many, many years ago in the 1900 by the rice pickers. And then it, it, the last verse says, and um, although we are women, we are not afraid to unite and, and be together um, because we have a big, long tongue to defend ourselves with. And, uh, and when we uh, explain this or introduce the song, all the men always have a big laugh. <laughs> they do. This is one of the songs that was sung in Canberra. Oh, yeah. Who was the mm. Prime Minister then? Um, Mr. Keating. Keating. Mr. Keating. Mr. Keating. It was sung in the presence of all the parliamentarians at Cam Canberra. In I Canberra. If I understood it. <laughs> So remember between shoulders all the time, I need to see the people in the back, please. People don't know what song you're doing. So how you sound it, maybe half of them don't understand it, how you. But when, how you sound, do you know the song is sad or happy or what? Mary Sapp, piano, si, si, mo. Actually reconnected at something of, of my own past, my own my, my life. I just thought it was a wonderful idea that they'd started this choir. That we never had it apart from the church choirs, but there was no, there, there's never ever been an Italian choir, has there ever? And I, I thought it was a wonderful way of expressing ourselves. <laughs> Love it. I look forward to it. Uh, to me, it's like it's my time. It's my quality time. Uh, I reconnect with the choir members. I've made close friendships through through being, uh, through going there. I look forward in anticipation for it because I know I'm going to go that particular night, whatever it is. Or even when we have to, when I'm getting dressed to go for a performance, my focus is that. I just, I just, just feel, I just feel in my bones that 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 it's something that I'm going to get satisfaction out of, and and that's why I think it's very important. The way I feel that, I'd love to think that other people would feel that same joy that what I get out of it. I have to wait because they keep on changing things. Yes. Just play by ear. Okay, let's go.
for me because I was born in Italy. Uh, as I get older, I tend to connect with the old times. I, I tend to really desire that. I, I get very emotional about songs that I hear um, that maybe my mother used to sing or we used to sing in company or even songs that we used to sing when we first came to Australia. I relive all those memories, all that history, all maybe the pain um, to think that those people are not here with not us here anymore. anymore. So that, that's important. Well, but if we achieve that, if we do achieve trying to keep keeping it alive, well, isn't that something that that is, is beneficial to everybody? And once it's gone, it's gone. And if that we are, if we, if we keep that alive, I think we've achieved something. I, I really do, because a lot of people do relate to a lot of the songs we sing. But as as Lita just said, like the older people in nursing homes, even though they're not aware of everything, but at the same time you can see their lips moving to the, uh, to the, to the songs and they, that it brings back their memories as well. If we can keep that alive, I think we've achieved something. And I know for a fact that if we don't get gigs, they all feel depressed. <laughs> I love Mamma. I love Mamba. I just, I don't know. To me, it's got a specific um, meaning to it. I just love it. it probably brings back memories of your own mother because it's, it's based on the mothers. And, yeah, and that's the one I, I really feel it when I sing it. Well, I know my mother's pain was specifically bad when she left Italy. She had to leave her mother with a broken leg in a bed, and. Her papers came through and she didn't want to come to Australia not to leave her mother. And uh, it was her own father that said, you are going because you have three children. You're going to be left here with, with the three children. You have to go. And she had, she had to leave her mother, you know. And you now when I think of it, how, how painful it would have been for her.
what concerns me most is that I'd hate to think that we would fold up. Firstly, for the lack of having someone to lead us. Secondly, not having the, the funds to keep going, because it does cost money to keep going as well. And if you haven't got the money, we can't pay the musicians and we can't pay our expenses. It, it's important that the choir keeps going to keep the history and the culture that we share in the community. It's important. Well, I think it would be such a shame that we've come so far and that it would have to die down. And I think, I think if, if it doesn't keep going, there's nothing to remind the young ones of the older songs. They, they need to hear them. Thank you to our founder, Kavisha Mazella, who many years ago had this dream. dream of keeping the Italian heritage and culture alive. And uh, to all the people that have been members in the choir and are no longer there today. And to the piano accordionists that have accompanied the group. That, that is one of the pleasures that I get every week to go there and listen to this man play the piano accordion. And also... Ali's devotion. And the devotion of our musical director who's been with us for the last 12, 14 years. He is really a special person that gives us confidence. He believes in us. He believes in he us. He actually believes in us.